Good afternoon, everyone. I am just looking out right now and uh, the sky has opened up and it is raining uh, cats and dogs outside. So I hope it doesn't interfere with this broadcast today because today I want to show you some no layer cards with the birds and branches stamp set. Now this stamp set, I just love it. Um, because I love birds and um, so I've created a little chart right here sorry for the glare um, that has some different birds on it that you can stamp um, with the stamp set and I'm going to be sending that out to all of my email list subscribers on Saturday so if you're not already on my list uh, make sure you subscribe to my list so that you can get this um, little chart that I'll send out on Saturday and hello to everyone who's joining me all of a sudden like people um, pop on and so I'm really grateful that you're here this afternoon now no layer cards bring me a lot of joy because I can just sit down with my stamps and my ink and just kind of create just like an artist would with a paintbrush and paints I don't I honestly, um, I never explored that area or that side of myself. So I don't even know if I could draw or paint anything worthy with practice and time. Um, but I know that I can with stamps because someone has already taken the time to create cute little images to put them together in a stamp set. So I can definitely sit down with some ink and just play to my heart's content. And so I thought I would show you two cards that I created. Um, no, nothing else is on them, just ink and, and um, stamping, and it's just a lot of fun. And um, along the way, I'm gonna share some tips with you, what I've learned about doing no layer cards in the past. And uh, hopefully that will be really helpful to you. Now, if you're a beginner, a no layer card might seem like, oh, this is really easy. Well when you first start stamping it does take a little bit of a learning curve to get um, the stamping process just to get that muscle memory in your hand so i encourage you to st uh, start off if you're doing a no layer card start off simply and just practice 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 because part of it is just getting that muscle memory right so i'm going to switch over my camera and i'm going to show you how i made these two what I think are really cute cards. Let me switch on over. All right, okay, and here's my bird chart that I'll send out on Saturday. And here are my little cards. And today I actually made little sparrows and I think they're so, so cute. I'll tell you a little bit more about the cards in a second. So um, I'm using the Birds and Branches stamp set. This stamp set is part of a bundle. So if you have a die cutting machine, definitely go ahead and get um, the die set. Today, we're not gonna use any of the dies. Um, so you can just get the stamp set if you want, but if you're into die cutting, definitely have a look at the bundle as well. And the, we're using the Field of Flowers stamp set just for the greetings in this stamp set. This one is also part of a bundle. It comes with a punch that punches little tiny flowers. It's like a border punch. So you could also look that one up if you're interested in the bundle. But both of these stamp sets are available on their own and separately. All right, let's talk about the cards. So I created this little nest card first and it's just so sweet. I wanted to make a little nest and with the branch and everything. But today I was thinking that I wanted to create a little card. You know what today is? Today is um, my husband's and mine uh, wedding anniversary. We have been married uh, 26 years today. So I thought I would make a little a cute little card. No, no layers. Um, and this is just like a cute card for um, me and my husband, um, uh, kind of uh, always in my heart. So I thought that would just be kind of sweet and simple. So I'm going to show you how to stamp both of these right now. So let's start off with the one with the one sparrow, the single sparrow in it. So you're just going to need a card base. And what I did is I just took a sheet of cardstock, I cut it in half. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. And then I scored it in half at the four and a quarter inch mark. 
and I put the trimmer as one of the supplies you can use and you can do all that cutting and scoring right on your trimmer. All right, so start off with, I do like to make myself little cheater marks so that I know where to stamp things because this is a blank slate. Like where would you start off stamping this, right? So I like to start with the branch. So I'm gonna measure up one and a quarter inches from the bottom. Just make myself a little mark one and a quarter inches up. And that's where my branch is going to start. Set that aside. And um, I'm going to grab my branch. And you know what the easiest thing to do when you're doing this is to actually spread out your ink pad. So let's talk about the ink pads. I'm using soft suede. I'm going to use just jade. Uh, and I like to have the names facing towards me. I'm going to use Sahara Sand. I'll leave my balmy blue closed for now. And then I'm going to open up Crumb Cake. These are my main stamping colors. All right, so I'll start with my branch and I'm going to ink it up in soft suede. And this branch, it's going to be horizontal. And I'm just going to go just a little bit off the page Look for my mark and line up there and then stamp down, okay? Then the next thing I'm gonna stamp is the nest. Just ink this up in my soft suede again. And the way I'm gonna line this up, this end of the stamp is going to line up with the outer reach of this branch. So um, it's not going to be on top of the branch. I'm just gonna make it just above the branch. I'm gonna fit it right along the line of the branch, but the edge is going to end where this branch ends. So I'm just going to kind of add that on here. This stamp, I like to actually stand up and give it a little push down to make sure I get all the little twigs out. Okay, so we're starting to build this little nest. Now the next thing I noticed, I need to, I want to create that greenery, okay? but it's very hard to get the greenery right where I want it um, if I do the branch first. So I'm gonna actually stamp my greenery first, my leaves, and then I'm going to add the branches in. So here's what I do. I'm stamping the leaves here in Just Jade, and I want them to kind of come out maybe like this, maybe about a quarter of inch from the edge. So I'm going to just stamp my leaves out there like that and oh, wouldn't you know it, I have picked up a little something on my stamp and you can kind of see it coming across here. So yeah, I need to make sure I get rid of that. I'm not going to restart this even though I have a little bit of um, smudging there. You know, when I blend later on with Pool Party, you might not even see that. Sometimes if you have like a, a pet or something, you might pick up a piece of um, fur or lint on there. So. Sometimes it helps just to clean off the stamp. I can't see anything on there right now. Maybe it's on my thing. Okay, so I'm gonna move on and stamp the leaves a second time. And this time I kind of want the um, leaves down here about like this, okay? And now I'm gonna fill in with the branches. So I'll use, this is the shorter branch. This is again soft suede and I'm gonna fit my branch in the leaves. They do fit nicely. And so you see here, it's just getting stuck into the nest. Even though it doesn't match with this original branch, it looks just fine because it's going, it's the same color as my nest and it's just being tied in with the twigs. So you can kind of play around with that a little bit. And then this one right here, let me turn it and twist it a little bit and then come stamp down like that. So you can see where the branch comes up here, but once it dries, it's just going to look like it's part of the nest. So now I've got a nice little branch coming out the side and it makes the branch a little bit longer than it would be if I had just done, um, you know, if I had just used that main branch right there. Okay. So the next thing I wanna stamp is the little bird. So we're gonna start off always with the outline stamp, the one with the most detail on it. 
And I'm going to stamp this one for, for making the sparrow. I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake, full strength. And I'm just going to add it right over here like that. One of the tips I have for you when you're stamping this is make sure when you're stamping the bird that you wait for each layer to dry a little bit because that's going to help to um, so that the inks don't blend together. So we're going to skip to the eggs next. Let me just clean these off. I had them um, inked with my other um, ink and I have you when you're doing speckled eggs I don't know if you can tell you're going to need to clean in between each so that you don't get any speckle on your ink pad coming back in so I've got my little egg stamp and I'm going to ink it up in what color did I do I think I did I think I did uh, Sahara sand sorry I'm looking at my beiges and I'm like what color is that Sahara sand and I'm going to come in with my basic black marker and I'm just going to use the brush tip and I'm just going to speckle on the eggs with my brush tip because sparrow eggs, I look them up and they've kind of got speckling on them. They can be kind of um, a bluish green with speckles or they can be a beige with speckles. So I'm just going to huff on this. So I use my hot air out of coming out of my mouth and just kind of go and huff on that to reactivate the ink. And then I'm going to stamp those down. I don't know if you can see that or not, but those little eggs are just a little bit speckled. Okay, so now this bird is dry from that first stamping. And now I'm going to bring in that bold stamp that encompasses the entire bird. And now I'm going to ink this up in Sahara sand. And take your time when you're coming over top of the bird and make sure you've got it aligned nicely. Okay, and then come down and stamp it. And then the next thing we're gonna do is the little wing. So I need to clean this off after the last wing I did. And um, I'm going to uh, ink this up in crumb cake ink and bring back in my basic black marker. And I'm just going to, again, stipple this with my black marker. And then breathe some hot moist air on that. I know this sounds terrible, especially during the time of this virus, but these are my stamps and no one else is using them, so no worries there. And then I'm going to come over top and stamp the wing right over top like that and so now you can see that wings got looks like a little sparrow's wing all right the next thing i'm going to do is use my sharpie marker and i just need to make sure my sharpie's writing yes it is and i'm going to go around the eye like a donut around the center of the eye leaving a little bit blank in the center Okay, so it's looking more and more like a sparrow. There's a couple of things though you can see that I added to it to make it even more like a sparrow. So I'm going to take my soft suede light stamp and blend and I'm going to take the brush to, and I'm going to work from my beak across to the back of the head and create an eye stripe. You see that? Now it looks a lot more like a sparrow. And then I'm going to take my cinnamon cider light blend and just go just underneath the top of the head. And that's gonna create that little cap that you see on some sparrows. Not all sparrows, but I did look up the sparrows in my bird book to kind of see how to create something that looks a little bit more like a sparrow. Now. A couple more things we need to do. I want to stamp my greeting. So I've got always right here. Just ink that up a little bit. And I want to stamp that somewhere around here. I don't want it too far off the mark. Somewhere around here. Okay. And then I want to add always thinking of you. Again, in soft suede. This I'm going to use a really light touch. 
because I don't want to smush it down because it's a small stamp. And I'll just run that parallel with my branch right there. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my balmy blue ink pad. Take a little piece of scrap paper too, just on the side here. And I'm going to um, sponge all the way around um, my image to kind of make it pop a little bit. So the way I do that, I kind of pounce on my ink pad about three times, and then I pounce on my scrap piece of paper about three times too, kind of roll around the edge to get some um, ink off the edge, and then I'm going to slowly start with little circles. Start over on top of the green, because if you go too dark on the green, it's not gonna show as much um, as if you go on the side. And I'm just doing really tiny circles around my image it's actually blending into the image a little bit too so pounce 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 around i'm just coming around and i'm going to try and blend out that little part of my image that got a little bit of a line on it from a little hair or something i don't even know where it went i didn't even see it on my stamp afterwards but it happens sometimes I'm just going to come around and you can see how my image is starting to pop. With a little bit of blue around it. Ta-da! And there are the two cards. Aren't they cute? I just love doing these no layer cards. Now before I go on to the next card, I'm just going to read you off the tips that I created when I started no layer cards, just so you know what, um, I'm going to pop back over here for a second. Yay! Take a little uh, break in between those two cards. So one of the things that for no layer cards, you need to practice, practice, practice. Don't give up. They're really fun to make. Just stamping. It's kind of like painting, except you're using uh, already made images. I take um, a piece of computer paper or several sheets and I cut them into quarters. So they're like five and a half by four and a quarter, the same size as my finished card base will be, but just the front. And I cut that computer paper um, up into a quarter sheet, so quarter sheets, and I have a little stack of those. So I can like stamp and stamp and stamp. And if I make a mistake or it looks ugly, I can just push it to the side and start on a new one. So I don't feel like I, oh, I'm wasting another sheet of cardstock. I'm wasting another sheet of cardstock. It's just scrap paper. So you can just play around. Think about it as like playing around rather than working on the finished product right away. Um, so expect to go through many pieces of paper before you get the correct placement, because that's what I did. I, I, I would show you my scrap garbage bin right now, but it's got a lot of other things in there. But I, I don't know how many I went through, but I went through a lot just to get the right placement of everything. Um, other Another tip is buy extra clear blocks. So I don't know. Let me just flip over here for a second. Um, I've got, I'm going to pull some of these in here. I've got a lot of extra clear blocks. I've got everything on a clear block. If you only have one clear block, that's going to be really, really frustrating for you because you're always going to have to peel off the stamps. So um, because you're not using die, uh, dies or punches, one of the tools you really need for no layer cards is having um, probably more than one block. So you don't get frustrated by always having to change them out. Um, and then one tip I already, rec um, already told you was when you're stamping the birds, let each layer dry a little bit in between the stamping because that will prevent those ink colors from um, blending together. And then when they blend together, you lose the detail of the stamp. And um, for the birds, take your time when aligning because there's nothing more frustrating than getting your scene kind of set and you're stamping the birds and then you're off a bit and you're like, 
if it's off a bit, it's okay. But if it's off enough that you can really see it, then it doesn't look right. And then you might want to start again. So just take your time. It really helps if you look straight down. So if you're having trouble with it, stand up and get that bird's eye view coming down so that you can get good alignment. And again, practice. Like if the birds is something that um, is difficult for you, just take a sheet and stamp a whole bunch of birds over and over and over again. And then you'll get good at it because practice with this really does make perfect. Okay, those are my tips. Now on to card number two. Hello to everyone who's joining me. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, let me move on to the next card. And this is what I called kind of my anniversary card. And I'm gonna move some of these things over here. And I need my card base. All right, so this one, I made some little measurements as well grab my little cheat sheet. So on this side right here, I'm going to measure two and a half inches down and make myself a little pencil mark. You can't even see it. And then on this side here, I'm gonna make a little mark three quarters of an inch down and four and one eighths inches down. Okay, so two and a half on this side, three quarters, and four and one eighths on that side. Those are just my little cheater marks. So now I know where I'm gonna stamp everything. I'll start this time with my always stamp, ink it up, and the, the crossbar on the A is going to kind of line up with this three quarter inch mark right here. So I'm just gonna line it up. It's about a quarter inch from the side. And then I'm going to stamp it down right about here. Then I'm going to take my branch stamp, ink it up, and then I got my little alignment mark right here. It's almost off the paper. I'll stamp that down right there. And then this one, I'm turning it, and it's almost off the paper too here, just a little bit off, and then stamp it down. So. All three of those little alignment marks help me align most of everything that I need aligned. Then I want to come in and stamp the leaves first. So I've got my Just Jade again. And I'm going to make sure I'm aligning this properly. It takes just a minute. And then come over here on the other side and align this. I'm almost off the page. I need to make sure I'm where you can see me stamp. Okay, so then the next thing I want to stamp, I want to start stamping those little birds. So I'm going to start with the detail again and crumb cake first. I'm going to stamp down here. And then I'll do my other bird also in crumb cake. And then this time I'm going to actually use the little claws of the bird. So I'll take one of them and this one is going to be in crumb cake again. And I'm just going to stamp it just underneath the little uh, bird there. And I'll do the same for this one. Just underneath like that. All right, um, let me see. I'm gonna stamp in my heart next, give the birds a little more chance to dry. And I'll stamp in my heart in soft suede. And it's gonna go right underneath that second bird. All right, now we can stamp the bold images in Sahara sand. So take your time, line it up. And come down and do the same for the other bird. Both of the birds are created in the same way. They're just different from each other because they face different directions. All right, now I need to clean off my wings again. I've got my um, chamois off to the side here and I'm just 
getting rid of the speckled ink because um, I don't want the speckles to go onto my ink pad here. All right, so now I'm going to stamp this one in um, crumb cake ink, grab my basic black marker and just stipple on there with some black and that's going to create that little wing hover over the top all right bring in my other one ink it up in crumb cake and then stipple it i like that you can buy this basic black marker all by itself and let me turn this so it's the right direction and hover it over top like that. Okay, now I need to come in with a Sharpie. Make sure it is actually writing. And do the eye. I just go around, leave the center blank like a little donut. Okay. And then I'm going to do the eye stripe in soft suede light blends. Come across the beak and go to the back of the head and then do the same with the other bird start off with the beak and move to the back of the head fill that in just a bit okay and then with the cinnamon cider cap with the light blend just go a little bit on the top of the head See, doesn't it look a lot like a little sparrow? All right, and then finally, I'm going to take my balmy blue again and my sponge dauber. Sponge daub off a little bit, get a little off the side. Start off in my branches and work my way around using a really light touch. This also takes a little bit of practice so you don't press down too hard and get like a round blob. But with a little bit of practice, you can get really good at this and it just adds a little bit to the image. So I'm just kind of finishing it off. So now it looks kind of like these are out in the sky, right? Doesn't that look cute? I just love how those turned out, right? And you know, the Field of Flowers stamp set is really awesome for its greetings. It's got some cute little um, flowers in it too, but I love these greetings because you can do always thinking of you, always in my heart, always my friend. You know, it's it's really um, believe always or, or always believe. You know, it's really nice, um, this greeting. I love the scripty always with a different font in the words here on the side. So I know this, like the set plays really nicely um, off of each other. So let me just move these ink pads aside and I'll show you the cards once more from a bird's eye view. So not too many ink colors, but um, it just, all the ink colors, they play nicely together to create kind of that little scene. And here are my other cards. And now I'm a little crooked. I'm sorry, my project was a little crooked the whole time. Okay, now I'm straight. All right, so what do you think? Do you like the little speckled eggs and the little speckled wing and the little eye stripe? I think they turned out kind of realistic in a sense, right? So let me bop on over here. <laughs> what do you think? Do you like to stamp one layer cards? I like to do them because 
I just feel like there's a lot less stress in terms of, you know, using this paper, using that ribbon. You're just sitting there with your inks and your stamps and you can play with a little stack of uh, paper. And it just is a different type of stamping sometimes just to kind of enjoy, especially with the birds and branches stamp set. And I really didn't even touch the surface of what you could do or the scenes that you could build with that. But I thought by showing you two different uh, cards, you could see how to kind of bring some of that together. Um, I'm gonna make sure I didn't get any questions along the way, but if you have a question, I'll stay on for about a minute more while I blab a little more. So if you do have a question, let me know, or if you're posting later, seeing this later, just post in the comment section below and I will try and get back to you. Um, so if you like any of these stamp sets, um, you can definitely pick them up. Just go down below in the description of my video. There's a link that pops over to my blog. And down at the bottom of my blog, there is a supply list and you can click over um, to my store and see all the products, see how much they are, see um, what they include. And um, then if you purchase something from me, you can get one of my tutorials for free. And I also um, send out a gift to anyone who spends more than $75 a month. I've got a host code for that. Um, so if you use the host code, um, that would help a lot. Um, and then um, if you're spending a lot more, if you're spending $150, um, don't use the host code. In fact, if you're going to spend that much money, you might want to get the starter kit because this month it's on special. It's regularly $99 and you get $125 worth of product. But this month you also get to choose a, a free bundle to add to your starter kit. So the birds and branches bundle is a new bundle and uh, you can add that to your starter kit for free. So you get $125 worth of product plus the free bundle and you're going to be paying $99 instead of if you were going to be placing a large order. So it's a really, really good deal. Uh, if you're interested in the starter kit, just um, look down below as well. I have a link over to uh, the starter kit sign up page um, down below. All right, well, I hope you guys have a great afternoon. I hope it's not raining cats and dogs like it is uh, over here. Um, if you like my channel and um, you're not already subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You can see me down in the corner. I think it's this corner down here. You'll see um, me in a little pink shirt. If you click on that, um, that will bring you up to the subscribe page and then you can subscribe and you can also receive notifications by clicking on the little bell when you subscribe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching me. I'm so glad you were here with me. It's a lot of fun to have people watch me and do it at the same time. I hope you're inspired. I hope you try some no layer cards because they're really fun to make and don't get frustrated. Just practice and, and allow yourself to have a little stack of paper to work through to create that fun design. All right, guys, have a great afternoon. Take care. Bye-bye.